Oh man, look at this. It's a goddamn Wonder Chef, you fuck! What an asshole! I'm the mysterious Wonder Chef. I'll show you how to make fruit juice, a drink that's chock full of vit vitamins. Yay, fruit juice. Fruit juice has three ingredients. Kirima, Kirima, strawberries, and lemon. Okay. Have a nice day. I can't believe you tricked me. I thought for sure you were a treasure chest and you, you lied to me. So just checking, checking all the curves. There's a picture here. All right. So let's go ahead and head after Meredith. Hey, have you seen her? I just saw a girl running. Is, she, is something wrong? Uh, sorta. I actually don't know why she started running away. Hello, miss. You don't know anything about Meredith. A girl went into the backwoods a little while ago. I wonder if she's okay. Well, looks like she went down here. Hey, Meredith, where are you going? Meredith? Oh, God damn it, Meredy. Hey, what's this? A night saber. Ooh, that might be good. Might be good. Yeah, it's super good. Cool. New weapon for Reed. I'm getting in a fight. All right. Oh, my God. That's a lot of mushrooms. Oh, this sword looks so cool. So we're going to be uh, focusing mostly on Swarm because one, it's super good, and two, I need to work on Thrust. Get a lot of experience here. Alright, Meredy, where'd you go? Meredy? Oh, we could camp. I'm okay. I need to run after my girl. Meredy! A chirp whistle. Oh, I think... Oh, by the way, Meredy uses whistles as a weapon? Super cool. That's a weapon for Meredy. Oh god damn it, Meredy. Alright, in that fight I actually got Um thrust up. So I got a new skill. I got Neuros Neosonic Swarm. Which I should also start working on. Oh, combination of lightning and wind shear. Interesting. Neo Sonic Swarm. Sonic Blade and Swarm. I want to try that out. What's that? 10? I think Swarm is 7? Yeah, so it's not a big difference, so let's try it out. We got in our chest here an Iron Helm. Um, let's go ahead and equip that to my boy, Reed. I think, uh, well, how's our way down? It's this thing, right? Yeah, there we go. Let's do it. We got some more worms and guys. I'm gonna start working on it. Oh, yeah, I wanna show off Neo Sonic Swarm. So I'll keep this fight in just because I wanna show off stuff. It's a, uh, it's pretty much Sonic Blade and Swarm together, which is pretty cool. It looks cool. Did we get them? And we took care of the, those guys rather easily. All right, it, nothing down there, so let's run after Merity some more. Look, over there. Merity. Oh, Baruru Boon! Yayo di Ipu Pui Mun Muti! There's Quickie! Meredith's trying to save Quickie! She was looking for Quickie! We've got to save them! Alright, I'll save you, Meredith! It makes sense now that we know. Because Meredy was looking all over the his house. So she was looking for Quickie because Quickie ended up running off as things were going on. So at least we found Quickie. Because we can't go on without Quickie. Quickie's awesome. 
I'm at TP already, crap. Oh, also, I want to move back a little bit because um, spectacles, uh, magic ones, as everyone should know them as. They're called spectacles in this game, don't know why. They didn't, I don't think they really invented magic lens yet, maybe? I don't know. So, that's a thing. And that's it. Boss down. He was uh, pretty simple. Merity! Everything's fine now. Merity, I'm sorry. I didn't realize Quickie was gone. Hey, do you understand? Monsters are vicious and dangerous. You put us in danger too. As a part of the group, you don't go off alone like that. Got it? Come on, that's enough. After all, we're all fine. Sorry. What? Huh? How'd you learn that? Hmm. <laughs> anyway, next time. Okay. Oh. Is I guess it's working now. You saved Meredy and Quickie. Thank you. Oh, awesome! We can understand her. Awesome. No need to thank us. Let's get back to Professor Mazette's house. You bet! Reed? What? The earrings. Are you wearing them? Yeah. Pretty! Hey, stop that! The, the tickles! Same as Meredy! Well, yeah. We put these on so that we can communicate. Reed? Not a very sharp guy. Huh? I- I'm talking to Meredy? Are you just realizing this? Like, it, it started working, we can talk to her now. Are you just realizing this? Well, yes, you are talking! It's Meredy! Reed, not too sharp. You're already getting wrecked by her and she's been talking for literally one minute. Like, Jesus, Reed. Get good. Ow, ow, ow! And with that, hey, we got a save point. HP has been restored. It's gonna explain that it's a load point every time we talk to it, but it does heal us, so that's good. So we have Meredy back, and we can understand her finally, which is super good. I'm glad they didn't keep that for, like, 10 hours into the game, like, they really get it going, like, super quick, which is nice, so we can understand her relatively quickly, and we're not gonna be wondering, like, what the fuck is this girl saying? Blah blah blah. We do have to make our way out of, out of the, uh, the forest, so. Oh! Chirp whistle! Merity, weapon for you. There you go. That's, uh, a lot better. There you go. So uh, let's let's uh, let's show this fight. We'll have Mary in and stuff. Um, a little thing I should mention. Um, she's gonna be kind of like Farah in the way that she has her own little catchphrase in this game, which is I don't know. I find it funny. Oh yeah, she talks now in the uh, in the ending or in the the finishing battle things. But um. She says, you bet a lot. Like, even in that past cutscene where we first talked to her, she's like, you bet! And she's gonna be saying that a lot throughout the journey, and it's really awesome. I don't know why, I just really like that kind of stuff. And, of course, Pharaoh's gonna be saying no problem a lot. Tell me, have you really come from Celestia? You bet! You bet! <laughs> it's fucking Merity, I love her. Let me see some evidence. Bow IT? What's evidence? Then is it true the world is in danger? What kind of technology does Celestia possess? 
What exactly is that stone attached to your forehead? Do all Celestians wear such a stone? Come on, tell me! Kill... Rude! Wh who's the rude one? Come on, cool down. Say, Meredith, can you tell us the reason you came to Inferia? You bet! Um, Meredith? Wanna stop the Grand Fall? Need help? Grand Fall? That's something not found even in the Leonoa Encyclopedia. The Grand Fall is when Celestia and Inferia come closer together. And then... BOOM! Inferia and Celestia colliding? T.I.T. Usu! Dugati! You bet! Going to collide! Collide is very bad! The... That can't... Be! The... There and here? Colliding? Are you serious? What's gonna happen? Are we all gonna be flattened? Why had the balance collapsed? Was it a side effect of the raised cranial pressure caused by grobule distortion? Or is it that the localized stress from the cranial zone has caused a Doctark effect in the Orbis barrier. Meredy, are you here because you know how to prevent the Grand Fall? You bet! Gather the greater Cremels in Inferia. If we do that, the collision will stop. Form a pact with the greater Cremels? What nonsense, it's impossible. Cremels and people live in different worlds. That's especially true for greater Cremels. Making contact is hard enough. A pact? Forget it. I bunundi bunainun tilgusu. No problem. Celestian Kremel cage. Greater Kremels enter from here. Are you suggesting that greater Kremels can be captured in a Celestia made Kremel cage? No, no. Cremel cages work the same way as Inferian ones do. But Parasol is different. With this, greater Cremels can enter the Cremel cage. So, if I use this, even my Cremel cage will work? You bet! Greater Cremel can enter. In other words, we can save the world! You bet! Maybe we could become heroes. Yeah, no problem. Kiel, can you bring them back to reality? We'll ask Professor Mazette the whereabouts of the Greater Kramels. Hey, you can't be serious. Go seek the Greater Kramels? If we can meet the Greater Kramels, the truth about the Grand Fall may come to light. After all, the Greater Kramels do not lie. Kiel, help Meredy. Will you help? Please, please. Let me make it clear that this does not mean I believe all that stuff you've said. I only do this to discover the truth. How stubborn can you get? Come on, let's go. Alright, so now we know why Meredith has come. We've already got battle, but I feel like talking, so I'm gonna keep it in. Oh, that's a new enemy anyway. That is a fucking gigantic some spider thing. Oh my god, it's terrifying. I guess his name is Mazette, but anyway, the more important thing I should probably be talking about is that the worlds are going to be colliding soon. Celestia and Inferia are going to be colliding, and that's kind of a bad thing. So, we need to look for the Greater Kramels, or as you, if you want to call them, the Summon Spirits. That's pretty much what they are. <laughs> um, so we're going to end up looking for them. We, we need to find their locations. Uh, is there anything I really need to do? Meredith's almost at 16. 
Mm, we'll get it on the world map. Forget it. It's not a big deal. So that's why Meredy has come here. So we need to help her out. Because colliding? You know, words colliding? I hear, uh, I hear from my buddy. It's kind of a bad thing. <laughs> you know, my buddy who lives in another world, who collided with another world, and they're gone. Like, my buddy's not even alive. I don't even have a buddy. <laughs> Let's go talk to Mazette. As far as I know, this thing she calls a parasol doesn't have any special features or functions that enable its use with the Greater Kramos. What do you think, Professor? You must meet the Greater Kramos. There is nothing more I can tell you. I understand. Take the parasol. Professor, can you tell us where we can find the Greater Kramos? I know of one place where you might. He's got everything in those drawers. Like, he's got 20 things in those drawers that we need. Oh wow, we got a map and everything. Go out to Moro and go northeast for a little way and you'll see Undine Stream. I've always, like, wondered how exactly you say Undine. I've heard Undine. I've heard Undine. I've heard Undine. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I think every game is like, yo, how do you want to pronounce it this time? Oh, just throw it. We have a dartboard for it. Just throw one and we'll get it. <laughs> I'm sure there's a proper one. I'm going to say Undine. Undine. I kind of like saying it like that. If it's true that disaster is upon us and that Meredy is the key to saving the world, I'm sure the greater Kramels will appear before you. Then, they must know much more than we do. Have you decided? Of course, we'll find them. You bet! Fucking Meredy Awesome. Meredy Awesome? Yeah, Meredy Awesome. Let's go with that. Take this map. I'm sure you'll find it quite useful. And we get the Inferium map. I don't know why we didn't have one in the first place. You know, because we... We left from our town and just start wandering out in the in, in Inferia. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Mazette. Farah, I sense that you have the innate power to heal. I will teach you a new skill. I guess she I guess Farah will be our main healer. I kinda of forgot. I thought it was gonna end up being someone else, but I don't know how to thank you. Farrah learned Detoxify, which is actually pretty useful. And with that, we are on our way out. Keel. He's always got to say his last words to Keel. It seems you've learned to communi communicate with Meredy quite quickly. Huh? Oh yes, we had help from a little incident. Remember those feelings. And pursue the unknowable. That is true learning. The unknowable. I didn't even know that was a word. The unknowable. <laughs> Maybe someday you two will understand why I left the university. I guess all we can do is learn the unknowable. <laughs> the unknowable. Okay. After Moro is Undine stream. I never meant to come this far. Well, we've come this far. We can't go back to Rasheen's now. Meredy, sorry. It is Meredy's fault. Farah and Reed thrown out of the village because Hyades attacked. Hyades? Hyades? Hades? I'm gonna say Hades, just to be core. Hades, is he the one that smashed the Elder's house? So he was after you. But why? Huh? What's wrong? It's nothing. Come on, let's get going. 
The Undine Stream is northeast of Moro. And we've got our little location we gotta get to. We should probably check out that map if we're able to. I wonder if we can... By the way, this uh, marked off thing, it's gonna be coming into use very soon. We'll go over it soon. Haven't been able to show that off yet. But we can click on the Inferia map and you can look, look through Inferia. Inferia is a pretty big world. Actually, now that I look at, look at it, it kind of reminds me of the world in Hunter x Hunter. Mostly because, like, there's Greed Island in the top middle, and it, it looks like Greed Island is actually on this map, which is a little ridiculous. If you've seen Hunter x Hunter, you know what I'm talking about. Awesome anime, by the way. Check it out. It's better than fucking... It's on par with One Piece. I'll say that much. <clears throat> anyway, we should probably get going now. Uh, Meredy was close to a level up, but we'll get that soon. Do I need anything for the road ahead? I have 15 apple gels, 7 orange gels. Got a bunch of holy bottles. I think we're fine. I think we'll be fine on our way. So let's get going. I don't think there's really anything else in this village we need. So, fuck it. See you later, fuckers.